Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on the fantastic plugin Air Tracks, which is an add on for the plugin Train Carts. So you can see it in action in front of me, and as you can see, I have built a little minecart track here with a large gap of air over here, and here we have just a couple of blocks of glass that have replaced the sections of track. Now you can probably guess what this plugin does by the name or by the demonstration but it allows you to remove sections of track and replace it with either air or whatever block you want. So the way this works is you need to define a block in the config file. By default it is a block of diamond, so we're going to place this down. And what we need to do is place the track a certain amount of blocks above this. So by default the uh, minecarts need to be floating five blocks above this. So we're going to go up about five blocks and then we are going to build our track um, so let's just make a straight line like this and pop down some rails here we go and then we are going to pop down some random um, blocks so you can choose whatever blocks you want uh, we are going to choose these maybe a quartz slab another slab there and just a block of air so we've just chosen chosen a variety of blocks uh, I'm going to grab a minecart, if I can find one, where are they? Probably in the minecart section. And we are going to pop it down and give it a little push. A little push, there we go. And it travels straight across like that. So the important thing is to have a decent gap between uh, the diamond block or whatever block you set and the track. Uh, if you don't, I will show you what happens. So let's just go up one block, for example and go along like this in the same format it, uh, it will not work so give it a push and as you can see it falls down the gap so make sure you either change the gap or do the correct height um, and then you should have no problems with it uh, so let's try this see if two blocks work I doubt it will give it a push and straight into the gap as well so when, with this plugin, make sure you set it up correctly and it is very easy to use. You can obviously change the default block and the default height in the config file. And you can also change the um, direction of the column for signs, which is a feature of train carts. I'll probably do a video on that very shortly. But that is the plugin. It's really awesome. It's really unique and it's free to download. So subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.